Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff. Earlier this week I made one of my Biker Stuff shorts. I thought you might like to see what goes into such a short video. YouTube shorts are up to a maximum of 60 seconds and have to be filmed in portrait like people do on a mobile phone. To make it easy, I do film mine on a mobile. Let me show you a few things I have to do to make these videos work. To start, I need to keep the light level stable, so I have these boards to block out the light at the top of the door. But to make sure no one comes in while I'm filming, they are bright red on the outside and warn that I am inside recording. Next, as the audio recording on my mobile isn't that great, I use this voice recorder and lapel microphone. Plus, there are all the props that are part of the video. In this case, I needed a tape measure, a notepad and a pen, plus, of course, my bike on the ramp. I have a special phone holder on the tripod. This clips onto the tripod I use with my normal camera, the one I'm using now. And lastly, the pages of my script. Yes, I use a script <laughs> because I don't like to sound like I'm making it up as I go along. Can I ask if you are new here and like what I do, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face down there. Then ring my bell so that you will get notifications when there is more to see from Biker Stuff. I filmed the making of this week's short, so let me show you that now. Right, I think I'm going to wear the pink one today. Are you ready to go? Yep. Cool. Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff Shorts. Are you sure your back wheel is correctly aligned? Let's find out. These markers are only guides and may not be accurate, so let me show you a better way to get it right. You'll need a tape measure and probably a pen and pad. Measure from the centre of the swing arm pivot to the centre of the rear axle. Note it down and then do the other side. Then, to correct any difference, loosen the axle nut, loosen the adjuster lock nuts and move the adjusters until both sides are the same. 
Of course, make sure your chain slack is correct. Tighten your axle nut, tighten the adjuster lock nuts, and you're finished. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. As you can see, the idea was to wave my right hand and walk off to the left, but I was told you couldn't clearly see my wave and there wasn't time for me to walk off. So we filmed it again and as you will see, I waved with my left hand instead. Let's do this piece again, now we've got to change it more. Actually, I remember what the bottom of the thing was. Pen and pad, and chain and sack is correct. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Biker Stuff Shorts. Are you sure your back wheel is correctly aligned? Let's find out. These markers are only guides and may not be accurate, so let me show you a better way to get it right. You'll need a tape measure and probably a pen and pad. Measure from the centre of the swing arm pivot to the centre of the rear axle. Note it down, then do the other side. To correct any difference, loosen the axle nut, loosen the adjuster lock nut and move the adjusters until both sides are the same. Of course, make sure your chain slack is still correct. Tighten your axle nut, tighten the adjuster lock nut, and you're finished. <laughs> Thank you for watching, see you next time. Thank you. It's all right. I hope so. Okay, cool. That's good. Cool, cool. That was all my part done. Then I leave the rest to my husband who will chop it up and make it look how you will see it. Once he got it on the editing software, PowerDirector, it was clear that it was too long. As these shorts need to be under 60 seconds and my intro takes up five of those, we were only left with 55 seconds and he said it was already one minute and five seconds long. Luckily, Power Director allows him to speed up or slow down a video. So after it was top and tailed, he sped it up to 55 seconds, added a few images, as you will see, and stuck the intro on. Here is the final version, which I'm sure you saw on Wednesday. You now have a backstory on how much goes into a 60 second video which doesn't include coming up with the idea and writing the script. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Biker Stuff Shorts. Are you sure your back wheel is correctly aligned? Let's find out. These markers are only guides and may not be accurate, so let me show you a better way to get it right. You'll need a tape measure and probably a pen and pad. Measure from the centre of the swing arm pivot to the centre of the rear axle. Note it down, then do the other side. 
To correct any difference, loosen the axle nut, loosen the adjuster lock nut and move the adjusters until both sides are the same. Of course, make sure your chain slack is still correct. Tighten your axle nut, tighten the adjuster lock nut and you're finished. <laughs> Thank you for watching, see you next time. Of course, if you'd like me to make a short, please send an email with your idea. I'll leave my email address in the description. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends, and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff. To subscribe, just click here. Then choose one of these to see more. Well, go on, press one.